Uh, Clear your hands, clap. <laughs> Make some noise for Master Baker! She's into me. <laughs> if that's what she said, no. <laughs> um, well, I guess the fact that she has a boyfriend is probably a red flag too, right? Uh, that would be a red flag. That would be a red, black, red, black, red, black flag. Okay. So she was talking about doing dinner this Friday. That's a no-go. You Freeze. think? I. Is, what this is, 
Is this a big enough, big enough gift? What is it? Is it for me? No, it's not. <laughs> it's for your cousin. Oh. My cousin? Yeah. My cousin is sad. <laughs> you're giving her a gift and you're not giving me a gift? Breathe. Breathe. So it was this big when I met her. <laughs> take the place of storytellers. They will be telling this story in different genre styles. Uh, what kind of genre can we get for Kashia here? Romance. Romance, thank you. All right, so romance stuff. For Betty, what kind of uh, uh, movies have you been watching recently? Science fiction. Science fiction, I heard that, you heard that. Fantastic, thank you for that. And for Lauren, what is your favorite song? Let it go. Okay, so uh, Disney movies. Yes, ahead. Disney musical movie songs. For Kel, uh, what kind of radio, uh, what kind of music do you listen to on the radio? Pop. Country. country. Okay, I heard country. I heard country. I heard country. And for Stephen, for Stephen, what kind of uh, books are a good gift to give at Christmas time. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Okay, so two of you. Start with Kashia. Romance. Science fiction. Disney musical. Country. <laughs> Harry Potter. Okay, and uh, what story are they going to be telling? What is the title of a story that has never been told before? The Ugly Duckling's Revenge. The <laughs> Storytellers will take one step forward. Fantastic. Oh, and uh, everybody, as all good stories begin, Once upon a time, the ugly duckling was out for revenge because his girlfriend broke up with him. They were in a relationship for five years and they were just about to tie the knot. After they, they were going to tie the knot, but the duckling's achy, breaky heart kept <laughs> <laughs> getting married, so he decided he was going to get on his cell phone and call another girl. And she said, be my guest, be my guest, <laughs> in a Caribbean before this sex, and then... <laughs> was gross, and so the Airbnb was disgusting. <laughs> so the ugly ducklings weren't really natural ugly ducklings. They had been created by Dr. Feinstein. <laughs> and they walked a little peculiarly. <laughs> but the caretaker was very empathetic towards these ugly ducklings because... Because he was also a wizard who was working on a new spell to cure them and their ugliness. Yes! It turns out that the ugliness Dr. Feinstein has been working with an evil wizard who was back from the dead. And so they needed to go to a school for witches and wizards. It happened to be the only place that had the cure. And when the ugly duckling that was out for revenge took that cure, all of the girl ducklings were all over him. <laughs> and he said, I can show you the world. <laughs> or really just like this pond because we're ducklings, so where are we going? <laughs> so they went to the pond and they started two-stepping and they going like breaky hard and you know, they started getting their cowboy hats and their cowboy boots, but they realized they were sinking in the pond. So Dr. Feinstein, he thought, you know, all of these girls are after this one poor duck or mallard or whatever they're called when they're boys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he thought, I've got to create a mixture to give to the girls so they'll tone it down. Tone it down so that way they could then make another potion to hopefully bring them back from the bottom of the ocean, from the bottom of the lake. Uh, and fortunately, at the bottom were mermaids as well. And, and of course, Ariel was there. Yes, mermaids. That's my theme. And, you know, Ariel was going to help the ducklings. 
And then Ursula was like, you poor unfortunate soul, look, you're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but she was like, maybe I'll help you just this once so you can find true love. Ooh. And so they wanted to help each other, so she said, I'll help you write a country music song. <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. For Griffin and JR. Uh, I need two volunteers from our audience. There's one, there's one. Come on up. <laughs> Sir, your name? I'm Brandon. Brandon, thank you, Brandon. And you are Brett. Brett? All right. Brett Brett. 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 a scene and when they need a word they'll just touch you supply any word you want it doesn't have to be the one that makes sense okay. it can be any word they will make it make sense okay. all right we need a relationship for these two guys what's a good relationship dr. nurse dr. nurse and we'll see this Dr. Nurse scene in three, three, two, one. Dr. Evil, we have a patient. <laughs> Who's our patient? <laughs> he's dying. Don't worry about who the patient is. He's dying. I shall turn him into a great piece, and his name shall be John. <laughs> Can we bring him to life? Because he's dying. I shall bring him to life with a Necrophilia. Necrophilia! Are you enjoying the other Yes. yes. Okay. How, it, how do we do how do we do this procedure now? Because I'm a nurse. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> what are your pronouns first? <laughs> Cow. Cow. Okay. Cow. I shall start from the back. <laughs> you shall start from the front. Okay. And then we must first get a very important tool. This tool is a Whiskey. We must get whiskey. <laughs> a lot of whiskey. A lot of whiskey. I need that right here. Yeah, right here, right here. I've got a lot. Just pour it all over him. Mm. There, there, there we go. go. That's great. That's there great. Go. There we go. He's still dead, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, what can we use to bring him to life? Fire. Fire. <laughs> Maybe we'll wake his ass up with some fire. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, it's lit now. Uh, oh Lord! Now the whiskey and fire's not good. <laughs> okay, he's burned and he's still dead. Get him off my table real quick. Move him up. Move him up. There we go. Move his head just a little this way. Just a little that way. Oh, it's good. It just fell off. Move. <laughs> Move that way. Move that way. It just. What are you gonna do? <laughs> go. Okay. <laughs> So now we have a headless dead person. <laughs> we still don't know his name, and somehow we need to bring him to life because the mom's out there waiting for her son to come back to life. True. Um, first, I need to get your head off. I'm going to use a <laughs> ear. I'm going to use your ear. <laughs> first, I need to cut your ear off and then so, I'll cut your head. So you're taking my head and putting it on this body? Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I can't hear shit! <laughs> I can't hear anything! Are you shit over here? I'm gonna cut this ear off now! <laughs> but first I need a cat. I need a cat. Yeah, that'll actually work. You can lick on this side before you cut it off. Okay, okay. Give a little lick. lick, lick. On this side. Uh, and now, lick, lick. Thank you. Bite it off! There we go. Now I have both ears. <laughs> okay. Now finally I must I can't it. hear you. <laughs> bad, I Talk slower. I don't know sign language. <laughs> what? I'm gonna need something very fast. I need a a cheetah. <laughs> Maybe I can ride the cheetah and get the hell out of here. No! Hey, special bonus game! Game of Bell Chain! Steve and Lauren, get out there! Woo! Steve and Lauren have gone to a family event. What is it? Family party. A barbecue. They're at a barbecue. And 
every time the bell rings, they have to change what they just said. So, family barbecue in three, three two, two, one. Hey, Fiona, mm -hmm. um, do you think you could grill the burgers? It's past noon, and Uncle Jack's had his special medicine that we're not allowed to drink. Um, you know I'm a vegetarian. Why would you ask me that? That's, like, so rude. You're also, did you make this potato salad? No, that was Uncle Jack afternoon again. Oh. That was made by uh, Aunt Hilda. She, that was made by our cousin. That was made by uh, our, sis our sister's new boyfriend who came to visit for the first time. Okay, well, where is he from? Because he put raisins in the potato salad, and I don't know where they do that at. We don't do that here. Uh, well, I talked to him briefly. I think he said he's from Iowa. They're not very known for their culinary. Iowa? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, first of all, look at this bowl. Why does it look like that? There's cat hair on this side and this side. And there's, there is huge pieces of celery on this side and this side. There are a dog turd and a cat turd on this side. And there's raisins. I'm a little more offended by the raisins. Uh, the shoot! I was supposed to be watching the dog and the cat. Do you know where they went? <laughs> what? No, I came here for the potato salad and it's ruined, so honestly, I'm gonna go home. Honestly, I'm going to my girlfriend's house. Honestly, I'm going to your mom's house. <laughs> hospital right now, so... You think I can just go there without her? <laughs> Maybe. You might need a key to get in, though. You don't um, have a key? It's your mom. Well, I was adopted. <laughs> so, uh, no, I don't have a key. I already graduated high, high school and I took... No, I don't have a key uh, because, I, because the cat ate it. <laughs> and you lost the cat. Yes. The key. Yes. Okay, um... Don't tell my dad, please. He'll kill me. <laughs> You're adopted. You are an orphan. You don't have a dad. You killed your dad. <laughs> How can I tell him? Wait, who told you about that? Um, the news? You don't have a television, girl? It's all over the news. And on the newspaper. And also, Wendy Williams was talking about it. But I don't know how she knows you. Well... No, I don't, again, adopted, don't get TV access. So. <laughs> that's not a thing? Oh, that's terrible. Did Harry Potter get to watch TV? Was he adopted? Is that who's, a thing? Who's Harry Potter? I never learned how to read. What? <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> right now, we're up at, kind of up a creek without a paddle. <laughs> um, yeah, overall this is about a usual family getaway, I think, right now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I killed my dad last year, so you're kind of beating me. Unless I kill my mom, then I'm up on the, the score chart. Right? Okay, well, my mom's got all three weeks left, so the clock's kind of, the clock's kind of ticking right now. Do you have any, like, ideas? You could do, like, a syringe full of air. They'd never know. She'd have, like, um, well, cardiac arrest. That's what that's called. Well. It's called, um... Loss of breathing. <laughs> it's called swamp foot. <laughs> it just makes it like the toes turn green, and then the left of the ankle is yellow, and then this part falls off. You can see the bones, it's cute. <laughs> it's great for the Halloween season. For me, um, uh, my lawyer told me that I can neither confirm nor deny anything, but allegedly, some of these matches might have fallen on some loose kindling. So you made... So allegedly, so I took this really big bat and I applied it to my dad's face. <laughs> so, um, this is a sword. <laughs> to share our love for our fabulous OKC Improv Executive Director, Kendon Lacey. Kendon! Yeah. 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 All right, uh, for those of you that have been to an OKC Improv show, you may have seen this before, Our Love is Like, and in the 9.30 show, Sex With Me is Like, However, uh, this is Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to keep it our love is 
apply <laughs> for level one students. All right. Um, can I please get an object that you have held, hang on, that is not a phone or a stapler or a spatula? Apple. Christmas bell. Okay, an apple. Our love is like an apple. Ken, then our love is like an apple. I get in and so it's deep red. Ken, <laughs> <laughs> then our love is like an apple because I'm trying to make this sauce. <laughs> Kendall, our love is like an apple. You can eat it up. <laughs> our love is like an apple. It's big and round and juicy. Our <laughs> <laughs> love is like an apple. It's sweet. Oh. <laughs> Christmas present that you received ever. Light bright. Oh. Light bright. Oh. <laughs> light bright. Our love is like a light bright. It's gone now. <laughs> and our love is like a light bright. It shines. Uh -huh. Our love is like a light bright. It lights up my life. Oh. Kendon, our love is like a light bright. It was better in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Kendon, our love is like a light bright. A lot of small things and small holes. Goes, aren't you hosting? <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, everybody have a great time? Yeah. Uh, wonderful. We offer uh, shows every Friday and Saturday at 7.30, 9.30. So you can always come catch regular OKC improv shows. You might see so many students even on stage. Uh, and then also the second Saturday of every month, we have a 6 o'clock squeaky clean show. Uh, so please come join us for that. You can bring kids to We Won't Play Love Is Like. <laughs> so you're more than welcome to bring kids to that. Thank you so much for supporting students. Thank you so much for supporting OKC Improv. Uh, if this is the end of the night and the babysitter is waiting at home, I'll end every uh, show just like I always do. You're in the Plaza District, plenty of places to drink. Please go have a shot before you see your children. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Thank you.